Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to remove the oil gallery plugs into a VW air cooled case. And we're just gonna use simple tools. And basically, it's a simple job. Uh, what I use is a 6.5 millimeter drill bit. And I use these two as well. I drill the hole and I'll show you how we do it. So we're gonna remove the front ones because the back one I have to remove it from the stand. So it's basically the same principle. Let's just do that. So we try to make the hole right in the middle of the plug. Well slowly. You don't want to go too fast with the drill as well because you don't want to go too far deep. On these gallery is fine, but some of them you wouldn't be fine if you go inside. So just take your time and do it slowly. See how it pulls in. That's why it's good to use a low speed. If you use the hand drill, it will be even better. You know, those uh, electric, I mean, the battery powered ones. Okay, here we go. We got a hole. We're going to take this tool, we're going to fit inside. And you just go slowly from side to side until you hear a pop, which is the breaking loose from the case. And up and down. You insert just a bit because you don't want to get it into the magnesium itself. And this one is quite tight. You will find on this later Mexican and Brazilian cases that they're really hard to get out. Yeah, this one is quite tight. It normally comes out quite easy. So you need to break it loose. down from side to side until you break it loose from the there we go it's coming out you just want to do it easy slowly you don't need to rush there we go that's it one done let's do the front ones now <coughs> do this one same process slowly make sure it's in the middle Same thing, up and down, side by side. Now this one broke easier. There we go. Easy peasy. Out. Let's go to the other one. This one, you don't normally remove this because it's got an oil restrictor here. If you do, you have to make sure you replace it with an exact same one. So I don't normally remove it unless uh, the case is being sitting for a long time and it's full of dirt, and then obviously you gotta make sure that it's clean. But if it came from an engine that was running before, there will be no problem in here unless the engine sees and metal particles are in there you know then you have to remove but normally in the most cases you wouldn't have to remove it so let's go to it for the big one this is the one that we're gonna use the the full flow fit in here so this is slightly larger Again, patience is the key. Oh, oh this one already broke loose. Up, down, left, right. Here we go. Up, right, up, down. You 
the floor. Out. To the bottom one. Just make sure you don't fit this in too much, you just maybe about five millimeters inside, just enough to hold into the aluminium. You don't want it to touch the, the magnesium at all. Just take your time and go it slowly. There you go, loose. And you're just rounding it so it comes off easy. Sometimes there is some corrosion there as well, so it has to clean its way out. There you go. Try not to pull only from one side, you know, if you go up and down, left and right, you're going to make a perfectly round hole. There we go. That's how we do it. On the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to tap these uh, galleries and how to use the plugs. The plugs are really good because you can always remove them to clean and to inspect your gallery. So I do it in all the engines that I sell or rebuild for my customers. I normally drill all these and tap them out. The ones that I don't normally do is this one. The one on the side here you can if you want. Not very necessary because you can clearly see when the gallery is, is actually clean or not. And I do also a big one here in the back. I'm not going to show you guys because I have to strip this and the video is going to take too long. 